Baddies! Grunts, Boss Sweepy Dana Gaming here with more of my Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took down Claire, went to the Dragon's Den, and earned ourselves our eighth and final badge of Johto. It's called the Rising Badge, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. So we got a call from Professor Elm. We gotta, like, I think get the Master Ball from him. I believe that's what it is. And then we go and find the Kimono Girls and get the Silver Wing or whatever. But first, I want to check out if we get an encounter. We already, I think we missed our Dark Cave encounter. I keep saying that. We might have gotten a Dark Cave encounter, but we didn't get a Route 42 encounter. So we're gonna get go ahead and see what we find here. And it's a Swalot. Not the most exciting thing in the world. But it's okay. It's something. Let's see if we can body slam it. Oh, that was perfect. I mean, doing either a little bit more or a little bit less would have been preferable, but I think we can try it from this range. Let's... let's see. Oh, the sound flipped out there for a second. Um, I don't know how heavy you are, actually. Do I not? What happened? I was gonna say, what happened to all my Ultra Balls? There they are. Well, that's not gonna work. I could go for another Body Slam. And, uh, hope we don't get a high roll. I'll try one more Ultra Ball. I have to remember we have a Quick Ball. In case later on we run into something I really, really want. Okay, good. We caught the Swalot. So now... I'm gonna head over... To my videos. Let's go ahead and check this out. da 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 da, -da. It gulps anything that fits in its mouth. Its special enzymes can dissolve anything. Let's go to my most recent video here. And find some comments. Alrighty. Doop-ba-doop-ba-doo. -ba -doo. We got a lot of uh, return... We got a, um, a lot of return commenters. Um, well, we've got, oh, this is interesting. We've got a uh, commenter in, I believe it's Portuguese. Como você colocar essas fotos dos Pokémon em baixo? I don't know what em baixo means, but I believe the question was, how did I find those pictures of Pokémon? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm trying to learn a little bit of Portuguese with the Duolingo app. Um, but to answer your question, Dark Sword, I can't answer you in Portuguese, but I can answer you in English. Those are, um, Pokemon trading card game artwork pictures. And the way I found them was, if you go on the official website for Pokemon TCG, they have, like, a little database. And you can search for the Pokemon's name, and it shows you most or all of the Pokemon cards that that Pokemon has ever appeared in. And basically, I just saved those photos, I cropped out the artwork photo, and put it in my layout. That's where I got it from. I hope I, uh, I hope I got that right. I wanted to take a crack at that because I thought, oh, this is Portuguese. I'm learning Portuguese, let me try to answer that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give a very unlikely name <laughs> to this Swalot, and name it after my Portuguese commenter. Dark Sword. So, yeah. That's quite the name for a Swalot, I know. If only there was a Hone Edge in this game. It would have been almost perfect. I mean, it's a Ghost Sword and not a Dark Sword, but you know. That's alright. We're starting Box 2. We have lots of Pokémon here. Alright, I'm gonna put a Repel up now. I only have two Repels, though. Because I want to make my way down here, make my way downtown, and just do some training. Now, I'm not gonna... Because based on which path you go down, uh, you'll uh, find different things on the way down. So I'm not gonna go down all of the paths. I'll just try to pick one path and try to fight as many trainers as I can on the way down. Just so we get some little extra training done. But yeah, I have to think of a question of the day for today. We're getting pretty close to the end of the Johto part of the series, but... I think I want to do Kanto. I know I heard from a couple of you that said it would be good if I did Kanto, and I want to do Kanto as well. 
kind of give me a way to extend this series a little bit. And But I think what I want to do for Kanto, presuming I make it, presuming I, didn't, presuming I don't wipe out, is to start fresh with a different team. Or at least maybe trade off half of my team members for team members from the box. Mainly just so, because, I mean, let's be honest, we have, we've only had one death still so far, and even though, even one death, I don't, it's not like I want more deaths. One is already more than enough. Um, we haven't gotten a chance to see a whole lot of different team members, so, and I named a lot of them after a lot of you. So what I'm thinking for Kanto is we can keep, like, a top three on my current team, and then add three more for Kanto, and kind of train them up and catch them up. Depending on how, uh, how low-leveled they are. Maybe some of the higher-level ones, so it just doesn't take me forever to grind them up. Let me know what you guys think of that. Maybe I'll make that the question of the day. Should I replace some of my team for Kanto? For the reasons that I just explained. To kind of switch things up. To get to see some different members for a change. I think that might be a good idea. It might be a way to freshen it up a little bit. Let's see. Also, because I did notice one of the comments on my previous episode was something to the effect of, are you the only one uploading on this channel? And the answer to that, as a lot of you know now, is currently yes. But we're getting some new new uh, team members on, and in 2017, we're going to start to reboot team, equi uh, team, team Equips. Yeah, I'm Tweety Bird now, by the way. We're going to start to reboot Team Eclipse. And, you know, I can't say for sure how it's going to go as far as the, the overall... Um, I can't say how things are going to go, I guess, but what I'm happy about in bringing on some new members is that I think it'll bring a lot more life to the channel. Like, everyone's going to bring something a little different, whatever they do well, they're going to bring something new to the table, and I think just having all of those people, just different voices, and more than just me, I think it's going to make the channel a lot more lively. You'll get more videos because there'll be more people sharing the work. I've been having to do a lot of work on my own channel right now. Um, my channel Sweet Banana Gaming. So it's been tough to find more than once a week to put a video on here. So I think if we bring this back to a collab channel, it'll be better. Well, you'll at least get... You should at least end up with more than once a week on average. Alright, we've got Metang. Let's go into, uh, I almost said Luigi on, but no, it's Michael. Michael, one of the MV MVPs of this team, I think. Just for sheer power. Still waiting, what is it, level 42? It's level 42 or level 47? Well, in Generation 1, I think it was level 47 to get Flamethrower. I only remember that because of uh, Pokemon Yellow. I waited to evolve my Charmeleon until it could learn Flamethrower, so I waited until level uh, 42, because otherwise I would have had to wait till level 47, something like that. It was a few levels of difference, but in Gen 1, the way that leveling up goes, it, it was a lot better to uh, wait to evolve and get the move at the earlier level. Mostly just because, like, in between Ember and Flamethrower, especially in Gen 1, you didn't have a whole lot of options for good fire moves. As opposed to... Uh, Wait, who does this guy say? There's a battle frontier in this game? Oh yeah, there's a battle frontier in this game. I was- I, I saw that. Um, I saw that in an earlier episode. I don't think I ever once did the Gen 4 battle frontier. I tried the- maybe because I tried the Gen, Gen 3 battle frontier and I really was terrible at it. This was well before I knew anything about competitive Pokemon, but I just remember it being Ridiculously difficult. How fast is Per Ugly that I can't escape it when I'm 15 levels higher? Now what was I talking about besides Team Eclipse? I think I was talking about Team Eclipse and then I got sidetracked with other things. Oh, um... Alright, how from Ember to Flamethrower you don't have really anything in between, at least in Gen 1. You don't have anything in between power for uh, the Charmander line to learn. With Squirtle, you have, well, you have Bubble, and then you have Water Gun, and then you can learn the TM for Bubble Beam, and then you have Surf, and then you have Hydro Pump. There's a lot of options for water. Actually, there's, there's, like, even fewer options for Grass, because you just have, for, as far as, uh, damaging moves, you have Vine Whip, and, uh, Razor Leaf, and Solar Beam. 
I mean, there's Petal Dance, but I mean in the Bulbasaur line. Okay, this is also Dark Cave. So wait, this is Route 46. I don't remember if we already got our encounter here, because I think, is this the one that connects... I think this is the one that connects to um, the route next to New Bark Town. But I'll, I'll, I'll try to avoid Pokemon, but I'll walk down it just to see if there's any more trainers. My chair, I, I have to probably use a different chair for recording because if I move ever so slightly and it, it makes this squeaking noise that you can't necessarily hear, you can't always hear if I'm talking at the time, but like like I, like I what happened a minute ago, it, I got really quiet, I didn't have anything to say, and my chair squeaked, and I'm, I don't know if you could hear it. Watch now, I ruined it because you won't be able to unhear it. Okay, now we've got this only level 13 Bulbasaur, speaking of Bulbasaur. Oh yeah, for grass moves you also have Absorb. But again, I was talking about... Well, actually, you, you could teach the TM for Mega Drain. But Mega Drain was only basically... was was Well, Mega Drain was in between Vine Whip and, and Razor Leaf. So, yeah, actually, File Type... Fire... File Type? Fire Type? Who was even going to get sent out? I, I completely forgot. But as far as... So Fire Type was kind of the worst as far as having moves in between. And I guess that's all right in the in the original games i guess fire was was a uh, is fire considered a stronger type i don't know fire is a pretty good offensive type um water's the best defensive typing of those three grass is not a good defensive typing but the grass poison combination which was by far the most common in generation 1 is actually that's potentially the best combination with grass you can have, because you get rid of the weakness to poison and the weakness to bug. You add a weakness to psychic, and you lose resistance to ground. But it's a pretty good trade-off, I think. Your your weak to um. It's like your weaknesses are less common, I want to say. At least nowadays, I don't find psychic moves as common as they used to be. Basically, any any move that's gotten a an immunity, so. How electric, attack, electric attacks don't affect ground, dragon doesn't affect fairy, and uh, ground doesn't affect flying. I mean, I guess you see a lot of ground attacks still and poison attacks, even though they don't, even though they don't affect steel. But like, it, it kind of, it always makes you need to have a plan B. You can't have something with only those types of attacks, because otherwise, you might run into an immunity. Okay, yeah. So this is the new bark town end of things so we're just gonna fly the rest of the way i forgot you don't have fly you have fly got two flying types there and i think my webcam might have froze for a second but i don't know i'm getting a couple of little uh, skippy things okay let's go ahead and we can't heal with mom we have to go to professor elm's little machine you know, it's been so long since I first started the series, I can't quite remember the exact way I did Professor Elm's voice, but I'll do my best. Anyway, here's Ethan. Sweet, did you already collect eight badges? That's so cool! The professor is waiting for you. Yes, I know. I don't need an escort, Ethan. Hi, sweet. You never cease to amaze me. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. We got the Master Ball! You know, if we find a random shiny... Lugia, or Mewtwo, or Rayquaza, or Arceus, or Arceus, I mean, I mean, Ar Arceus just still rolls off the tongue better. Anyway, the Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate Pokemon. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. Now, here's a thing. Here is a thing. Um, and I did a theory on my channel having to do with Professor Oak's parcel, and it, it involved us... Um, I did with uh, another YouTuber, Ed Craze, and it involved us looking into... Uh, the Master Ball, because in Generation 1, it's this experimental prototype ball being developed by Sylphco. And then in almost, I think in most of the subsequent generations, you just get the Master Ball from a professor. So, like, later on, professors just have it. Which kind of made me wonder if maybe Oak wanted a, a Master Ball. But it would have still been a prototype at the time. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I guess we already talked to Elm. 
Did he tell us to go to Ecritique? I was talking. I was talking all over everything that happened. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Kimono Girls. All right, well, that'll uh, that'll be the rest of this episode, I'm sure. We're gonna go ahead and battle the Kimono Girls. I think their Pokemon are all, like, level 38 or something like that. 37 through 39. I, I'm not sure which. So, and we have to battle, battle them all in a row. And, of course, usually they use all the evolutions, but now... We don't really know what they're going to use. They could just use anything. And I think I'm going to need to stock up on healing items. Because I seemed pretty low on potions, at least. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Speed up the tedium. Okay. Yeah, let's get some hyper... Oh, we already have 20 hyper potions. I don't know what hap... Oh, they must be at the bottom of my bag. That must be... The reason. Let me get more super potions, though. Oh, and let me make sure I have... Uh... Oh, we can get full restores, too. I probably don't need any yet. But let's just get three. Just so we have them as an option. And then... Let's get more repels. I'm probably gonna need more than that eventually, but... All right, we've got plenty of full heals, so let's just buy more repels. Okay, I think we're ready. Ready or not, here we come, Kimono Girls. We're gonna take you on. Or die trying, but hopefully not. Oh, hi! Oh, hi, Sour. How? How is this possible? How can I lose to mere Kimono Girls? I mean, they wear dresses. They can't be good trainers. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess they're very... They don't seem like battlers. But they're, uh, they're quite tough. Like he says, those kimono girls are insanely strong. Go ahead, see if you can defeat them. Alrighty. Did he say he's not going back because he doesn't want to see us win? That seems like what he might have said. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to these kimono girls. Squeaky chair. Welcome. My name is Zuki. I met you previously in Violet City. In order to bring back Lugia, we needed someone with the right bond with their Pokémon. We asked Mr. Pokémon to give this mystery egg to whoever showed true potential. The egg was eventually handed from Mr. Pokémon to Professor Elm, and then to you. However, being pure alone will not be sufficient to face the power of this Pokémon. I must test you. Are you ready? Yes. All right. I will test how closely you've bonded with your Pokémon. Here we go, guys! We're taking on the Kimono Girls! With that awesome little transition there. Chief Sonya Has a Jolteon. Are these guys not randomized? Or did I just get insanely... Coincidentally lucky here? Alright, I guess we're gonna go into Luigi-Gon. Pretty much only electric resistance we have. Huh. Good thing the evolutions have bad moves. No, it must be- I feel like it is randomized. Because I want to say that Jolteon would have better moves than this if it were the actual Kimono Jolteon. I don't know, I guess we'll see. If they're actually the evolutions and not randomized, that'll be a bit of a letdown. But on the other hand, that, that could make it even more challenging. Because the Kimono Girls normally are challenging. So, uh, we'll see. Alright, let's let's skip ahead. You don't have any Pokemon left. Well, yeah, well, that's what happens when you have only one on your team, but... You are quite strong. You helped me in the Ilex Forest. My name is Naoko. I am the one who I... Skipped what you were saying. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Chief Zoe has a Swampert. Okay, so we really just got, I don't know what you want to call it, lucky, unlucky? It was a really random coincidence that we got Jolteon to fight against. Alrighty. Well, that's funny. It's always funny when things get coincidentally randomized to the thing that it was supposed to be. I don't know which evolution she was supposed to have. Now, I would like to switch to Luigi Gone. However... We're at low health here, so I'm gonna Super Potion first.
We're gonna go take down. Not bad. All right, let's go ahead and switch into Luigi Gone. All right, that did quite a bit, but we shouldn't have to worry now. One Leaf Blade should take it out, no problem. I'm getting antsy here, gotta skip a little bit. Okay. All right, let's see who number three is. You are quite the trainer. I remember you chasing off that Team Rocket Grunt from right here. Thank you for that. I must thank you for that, although I am actually a trainer myself. She who knows the most speaks the least. I actually like that saying. Way too many people say too much and know too little. Of course, it's not a matter of talking a lot. I mean, I talk for 20 to 40 minutes per video. But sometimes it's hard to find things to say, so, you know? All right, even though you're rock type, I'm going to go into Mr. Bohemia. Because, oh, ingrain. It's one of these. We're going to go Aura Sphere. Sorry, I shouldn't be skipping ahead. But yeah, I think the 4th gen animations, even in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, are a little slower than they need to be. Just a little bit. Alright, one more should do it. Gonna Ancient Power. Hope it doesn't get the boost. Don't get the boost. Don't get the boost. Don't get the boost. Don't get the boost. Okay, good. You're gonna heal with Ingrain. That's fine. I think we can take you out from here. Okay. It's all good. And Rolly grows to level 39. Oh yeah, what level? Rest, uh, nah. What level does he evolve again? Something like 42? It's in the 40s, if I'm not mistaken. I looked it up last time I was wondering about it. Okay, next. Excellent fighting spirit. You got me off the ice by pushing me from the back. I am the one who skates in sandals. I am Sayo, the kimono girl. I was listening in the Dragon's Den when you passed the test of the Elder. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokémon. Okay, what have you got for us, then? Chief Marilyn Mamoswine. I mean, probably not a problem for Rolly, I don't think. But man, let me tell you, in my Sun and Moon play playing, like, as far as the battle tree and stuff, and battle spot, Mamoswine has given me the most trouble. I have a better team for it now, but at the time, it was just walling my team. Okay, that HP went down so slow that I was worried we weren't going to have to one-shot it and we were going to have to get into a healing stall fest. But thank goodness we took it out. Because that thing was... Ugh. I am the last one. You were so dependable at the Goldenrod Tunnel. I am the one who twirls even underground. I am Kuni, the kimono girl. I looked at you in wonder when you thwarted Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. You must show your strength to me now. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokémon. Alright, last Kimono Girl. Let's see what we're working with. Chief Kate Vespaquin, huh? Interessante. I think we're gonna go into Michael. Switch. Okay. I mean, there's no reason to not, sk to not skip switching. I mean, it's just a transition. All right, Ember. Come on, take this thing down. Just around 50%, probably a little bit less. Good thing we wall this thing pretty well. Okay, good. It was like right on the dot. Because sometimes you can attack into the yellow and you still don't two-shot it. Could be because you get a high roll the first time and a low roll the second time or something like that. Anyway, Michael's going to get to level 40. We're going to finish off, and that's going to be it. We were not wrong about you. You are indeed worthy of this. Please take it. We got a title bell. So sorry, it wasn't the silver wing or whatever. It was the title bell. Oh, hey, girl. Big sisters! I just saw the big shadow of a Pokemon in the Whirl Island's waters. It could be... Um... Sweet, we'll be at the Whirl Islands. See you there. Well, how convenient was that? As soon as we get the title bell, Lugia appears. Like, the moment we get the title bell. But hey, it's all for the sake of the story, right? Alright guys, so that is going to be the next episode 
for now, I'm just gonna heal up and then finish off. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. like. Also answer the question of the day, which is, should I use some new Pokemon on my team for Kanto? And I mean like about 50% of my team. Should I switch off three Pokemon on my team for Kanto to switch things up a bit? Also subscribe if you're not yet a Grunt of Team Eclipse. Also go ahead and check out my channel, Sweet Banana Gaming, because if you like my stuff on here, you'll probably like my stuff on there as well. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'm gonna get an item from Rolly, which is an orange flower. All right, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke.